All right, I have already installed the package and what we want to do now is we want to go and open up the store.js file in which we are going to set up our database solution, our persisting um, layer, if you would, for the application. So the first thing is we want to require the package that we just added and I'm going to create an empty object here. Alright, let's also require path and we'll use this object all right so as you can tell this is a constant provided by NW and what it will do is it will fetch whatever path in which the NW is running or was installed and then it will append this remotes.db at the end of that path so that's the place where we are going to store our database for this application alright so next thing is we want to actually initialize the database and we accomplish that by doing the following so db this object here dot remotes this is going to be our kind of the collection it's going to be the following data store so this is uh, the constructor and it will get some options here and we want to pass a file name uh, let me change this DB path. sorry I had a typo there and then this is going to be true and when we enable this what we'll do is also implement the following method kind of a an event listener what we want to do is whenever the database is ready and it has all the remotes loaded then we want to use those and display them on the list of remotes in the application right so let's do that so we're gonna find everything in there and once we do that we will assign the remote list to whatever the result was so in this way once we load the data from the database we're going to use that and assign it to our store so remember this is the memory collection this would be lost if we closed the application but this wouldn't so whenever it loads we bring back all the items in that collection and finally alright 